Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to my channel and for a new Outriders video. I've been working on an infinite launcher build for a while now and since the new balance patch came in, it didn't really affect Techno all that much. I really wanted to make a powerful build that will have our tools of destruction active all the time. The Grim Inventor set is really not that great for getting your ammo back for your launcher as the paint launcher is still really hard to use sometimes. Especially fighting bosses, they all move around so quickly that most times the paint launcher will completely miss them all. You can however use a toxic lead mod on your armor pieces to get your ammo back on your minigun, but it still doesn't work for your launcher. So I went with using the fixing wave. It does have a pretty short cooldown and it is able to fill your entire magazine with every use. It's the best way to have your launcher up almost all the time. It's a really powerful build and it's probably one of the strongest anomaly techno builds that I have played. The turrets are still pretty powerful but you will always have to reposition them as you're moving around the map. With this you can just blast your way through entire maps using your cold snap and your fixing wave to regen your ammo. Your launcher pretty much one shots the elites and the cold snap is more than enough to kill all the smaller mobs. So I got together some really powerful gear and put this build together. There's really no armor set that makes the tools of destruction powerful. If I use the tech monger set then it's basically all about the turrets. If I go for the Blightfire set, then I will have some dead mods which will not benefit from the launcher in any way. And the Grim Inventor set is just bad. Even though it got the stat change with status power, it's really not viable at all. So this build is completely made with using a mix of epic and legendary gear. So let's get right into the build. The skills we are using are the Fixing Wave, Tools of Destruction and the Cold Snap. Fixing Wave is absolutely necessary as it's the only means of gaining the ammo back for your Tools of Destruction. Feel free to change up the cold snap if you so desire. I would recommend maybe the Kyra turret if you plan on farming bosses like the Arbiter. The turret will work better than your cold snap in those situations as it will have the boss be inflicted with freeze almost all the time. Whereas when you use cold snap to inflict freeze, it will only last a few seconds. This way with the turret you can maximize the use of your mods that give you bonus damage to frozen enemies. In our pack tree it's pretty standard. Lethal devices are super strong as it will allow your skills to inflict toxic. Especially your cold snap, your minigun and your launcher can now all benefit greatly from your toxic damage mods. Then the important skill depleted core. This will boost the damage of your tools of destruction based on 100% of your status power. We do get a penalty in status power the higher the apocalypse tier we are. Which I don't know why they added such a thing into the game. But it shouldn't really affect that much if you are lower in the apocalypse tiers. In our main skill tree, we go down the bottom tree to get as much anomaly power as we can and we stop right at the final resistance piercing bonus. Then we go up the middle tree and move our way down to get exposing frost. This will allow our cold snap to inflict vulnerable to everything in attacks. Which is great as it will allow us to deal more damage. Fracture is really good as it will give us bonus 30% damage to frozen enemies. And then we get a capstone overclock. So we get the bonus anomaly power whenever we use our gadget skills. As for our ascension points, go for the anomaly power, resistance piercing and all these bonuses first and then move out to get the bonus damage to elites, armor piercing, more health, whatever you're after. Your minigun will benefit from kit damage bonuses. Unfortunately, the magazine increase does not affect the minigun or the launcher, which is a shame as it would have actually helped. For the weapons, you can go with anything that you want. A weapon with armor piercing as well as status power will go really well with the build and it will synergize very well with the mods that we are using as well. Here are just some of the examples that you can use. For the mods, all you will need is Mage's Rage if you can. Other than that, you can go with anything that you want, as the main weapon for this build is going to be your launcher and your minigun. As for our gear, you can see that we are not using any legendary set. It's all a mix of legendary and epic gear pieces which I grinded for a really long time to get a hold of. As I mentioned earlier, there is no reason to go for a particular armor set, if you are planning to really make the tools of destruction strong. So let's have a look at the armor we used. Firstly for the headpiece, we used the Ronin's Omigasa. It comes with the exact stats we need which is the anomaly power and status power. Also the mod arms and anomaly are probably the best mod for anomaly builds. It's a must have. You won't benefit much from this mod when you have your launcher active as it can't do crits. But your minigun can make use of it as it can crit. Even though your launcher can't make use of this mod, you won't really need it as the launcher is anyways only going to be used for mobbing and it already one shots the enemies and the elites anyways. Then we have Anomaly Echo to give us more AP whenever we use our skills. And for the third mod we have Danger Close. Which is good as you will mostly be running around and getting close to the enemies anyway. So you will always get some sort of Anomaly bonus with this. For the chest I am using an epic piece with the important mod Bang for your buck. 
This mod is absolutely crucial otherwise neither your launcher or your minigun can sustain the ammo until your fixing wave has completed its cooldown. Then we have the two really strong mod combo. We have the unstoppable force as well as the no resistance against the fortified. You will get bonus resistance piercing based on your armor piercing value and the other mod will give you a bonus anomaly power based on your resistance piercing. These both work really well together which is why we get a weapon with armor piercing so it can increase our resistance piercing and in fact our anomaly power as well. For the pants we use the techmonger's piece. Since we are not going for the turrets, we swap out the first mod for captain hunter for bonus damage to elites. And then we have two major mods, shatter and freezing boost, which will give us a lot more damage to frozen enemies. These two mods as well as the skill alert skill tree, we get a lot of bonus damage to frozen enemies. And then for the gloves, I once again got a really good epic piece, which rolled with power simulation as the third mod. And it also came with anomaly power and status power stats, which was pretty amazing. I also have both euthanizer and radical therapy for increased damage to toxic enemies. It can be really hard to get all these epic pieces, so just keep checking the vendors as they can give you some really god roll items. If you are unsure on how to get these good epic pieces, be sure to check out one of the great YouTubers Nick Chu who goes over how you can get these god roll items. I will have a link in the description if you would like to check out his video. For the boots, I am also using an epic piece. My shoes are probably the worst in this build as it contains a dead mod which I am not getting any use out of as we aren't using scrapple grenades at all. But the mod that we do need is the Quartermaster. This will refill our magazine whenever we activate the skill. This does work for a minigun as well as the launcher, so this is a very crucial mod for this build. Then for the other mod, I added in Verulant Compound for more damage to elites afflicted with Toxic. That is mostly it on all the gear you would need for this build. If you are unable to get these pieces, like the really good epic ones, then I do suggest starting with the Blightfire set. The Blightfire set will be a really good starting point to play with this build. Once you have the right pieces, you can min-max all your gear and make your tools of destruction insanely powerful. Some mods that you can use if you don't have the ones I showed. License to heal is really good as it will give you infinite ammo for 4 seconds. This comes standard on your flame leaper gloves anyway, so it's really easy to get. If you want faster mob clears, then add in long winter to increase the range of your cold snap and add in icicle storm to easily kill all the small enemies. The torrential downpour boots come standard with the quartermaster mod. So use those and if you don't have good cooldowns on your gear, then add in breathe in to reduce the cooldown on your fixing wave by 20%. As for how you want to play this build, it's basically get your launch and blow your way through everything. Activate fixing wave when you're nearing the end of your ammo on your launcher and then you can just keep on blasting. Use your cold snap as often as you can to kill all the smaller enemies with the toxic and to inflict fleas on the elites. As for the bosses, it's also really simple. Just get a few crits and then go straight into your minigun. Then just keep on shooting. Bosses won't take long to die at all as the minigun hits for millions of damage with every single bullet. So the launcher is used for mobbing and mostly expeditions and the minigun is used for bossing, especially the arbiters. As long as you are constantly shooting and freezing everything around you, there is no way you can lose. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. It was really hard getting the exact items to make an infinite launcher build work and making it hit really high damage. I hope in the future we may get an armor set that actually increases the tools of destruction damage in any way. I would really love to see it. Let me know what you guys all thought. I would love to hear from you all. I will catch you all next time.